What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are back here at Sand Hollow for the Lynx 9. They not only have the spectacular championship course, the full 18, they also have nine holes, Lynx style. It's a great little layout for a Lynx course. We're just gonna be doing a straight nine hole course vlog here. This is gonna be a good little test. We're just gonna head straight into one right now. Par four, number one, 373 yards. Pretty much straight away, there is the green right there. Pin just on the left edge of that right bunker. That is gonna be our target. Down the right side, shouldn't be too bad. Did leak just a little bit, but should have a good look into the green. Good little angle into this green here, 61 yards left. We've got 60 degree, gonna land it a little right and a little short, hopefully get it trundling towards the hole. I landed that a little further left than I would have liked, but it stayed pretty straight, just a few feet to the left. That is the start we were looking for right there. Pin slammer here on one. Absolutely love to see it there on the first. One under through one, exactly the start we were hoping for to take it low. Would love to take this deep, like four or five under. Don't wanna get ahead of ourselves. We're on to number two, 419 yards, pretty much straight away. I'm gonna hit a little mini stinger here, kinda of a little low flight four iron. There's a little rock wall short of the fairway. Need to make sure to carry that, and the green's pretty much straight ahead there. Our target aiming point is going to be the middle of that little black building you see off in the distance. Not our best right there. That was uh, well right of our intended target. Thankfully, it's a wide fairway right here. I have 146 yards left. I've got pitch and wedge. Pin looks to be set on the left side of the green, so I am gonna aim right at it, play a little fade. I don't wanna aim left of that flag because I don't think you wanna miss it left. Sat there and talked about not missing it left and we missed it left. <laughs> that was not good. All right, in with the par. Got up and down, saved the par, remain at one under. Wasn't a good tee shot, wasn't a good approach shot. Had tons of green right at that flag, and that was just a poor swing. Thankfully, short game showed up, got that up and down, tap in for par. We're on to number three, par five. 574 yards right here, dog leg to the left. Green sits off back in there. That bunker, we want to make sure we stay left of that. There is a lot of fairway over the brush there, so our target aiming point is probably going to be somewhere right in there. If you'd like to support the channel, grab some ostrich gear. I'll link it down in the description down below. That is my brand, and any support of ostrich is supporting the channel, and all the current support has been greatly appreciated. Thank y'all so much. It truly has been unbelievable. We've got hats, polos, pullovers, hoodies, tees. So if y'all like to support the channel, link in the description down below. That was a much better swing right there. We'll take that all day long. That is what we were looking for out of driver right there. 215 yards left to a back hole location. You can see the flag right there. 
very accessible pin going for this green in two. I don't know exactly how far back that pin is. Let's say 10, maybe 12. So I might have hit that over 360 yards. That is one of the better drives I've hit in a little while. Good compression. It's not this close, five iron in hand. I actually changed it to six iron. There's a little help in breeze. Let's knock it close. Well, that one leaked out to the right. Probably should have stuck with the five iron. Tried to swing a little too hard there. We got a long putt. That is definitely one of the longer putts I've had in a little while. That was a lengthy one. Really all in all, not a bad putt. I've got about six feet left here coming back, breaking a little to my right. Let's go. Two under through three holes, another pin slammer. Very happy with the putter so far. If we can dial in the swing, we could just get on a tear for this nine. We're on number four, par three, 171 yards. I'm gonna hit a smooth little eight iron here. I tried to swing way too hard at that six iron back there on the par five and kind of made a sloppy swing. So let's get back into good tempo. Well, we're going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Hopefully we can get this dialed in. But just about 35, 40 feet left of the flag. So this is gonna have a ton of break to the right. These greens have some serious undulation on them. Good speed, just played a little too much break. And with the par. Where's Wiley e. Coyote? That way. Two under through four. We're still on great pace to post a low round here on the Lynx course at Sand Hollow. This hole right here, number five, super cool hole. It is a replica of the, of the uh, road hole at St. Andrews. This like rock wall kind of is like the boundary and the just we'll just pretend like there's hotels and things that you're hitting over the corner right there. So our line is gonna be kind of over these rocks here. I'll give you a target on the screen. That way you know where I'm aiming. I'm gonna be aiming at that left bunker right there. Hit that one well. I should have clarified there. I was aiming at that bunker, but I was going to be playing a fade. Faded a little more than I would have liked, but hung on to that right side. Should be in great shape. We've got bunnies everywhere as well. Great shape right here. 120 yards left to a back right hole location. Going to be aiming kind of at that V right there and let it fade over. Don't really want to miss anything right. Little breeze in too. I'm going to go with gap wedge. So today is a day of misses, exactly where I say don't miss it. That is too far right. That might have missed the green. All righty, here is where we are. My ball landed like right up there on the edge of the green, spun back, trundled down to here. This is not where you want to be. 
We don't have a ton of green to work with, so hopefully land something a couple feet on. an unfortunate bogey right there especially with wedge in hand there are about 75 million bunnies back here behind this green i mean they are just everywhere what's up dude well today so far has been a game of misses um we've had some bad misses we've kind of salvaged it up until there, scoring very well even with hitting quite a few poor shots Right there, paid the price for missing in the wrong spot. Hit a really good chip. It thought it scared the hole there, and then just, just didn't hit a great putt there from about five feet. So that moves us to one under par. We still have a lot of golf left. We're on to number six, par three, 139 yards. Slight crosswind, there's not much wind today. I'm gonna hit a little choke three quarter pitch and wedge. Cool bunkering there, just short of the green. That is pretty sweet. That was a much better tempoed swing right there. Tough to see it down. You can't really see the surface of the green, but I think that should be pretty good. Like I said, this is a super cool little bunkering. They got going here, little dirt mounds, little shrubbery right in the middle, but pretty cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> the bounce back tweeter, let's go. I am staying in those rooms right over there. Yes, they've got rooms right here off the course. And how about that view? What in the world? You don't see that in Tennessee. You hate to see bogeys on the card, but you love to see the bounce back birdie. Gets us back to two under. Three holes remain. Number seven, 489. This is a beast of a par four. There is a bunker down the left side. And I've been playing a fade with all my drives today. My irons have been going left, right, left, right, left, right. And so we're just gonna have to sort that out on the range. But I'm pretty much playing a consistent fade with the driver. So I'm gonna take it at this bunker down the left side, let it fade. Pretty straight, but does bend to the left. You can see the green sitting back there. The right bunker of those two in the center of the frame is the one I'm aiming at. Definitely hitting driver much better than our irons today outside of that pitch and wedge back there. That was pretty good. Hit that pretty much on my intended line and then it did fade a little more than I anticipated but held its line enough. We're on the right side of the fairway. All right, a good shape right here. Kind of middle right side of the fairway. 158 yards left. That pin is all the way in the back there. I'm gonna go with nine iron. There's a little breeze into. I don't wanna really flirt with flying it all the way back there because you don't want to be long with where that pin is. So anywhere three, four yards short of it should be good. Those last two iron swings were much, much better. Looks to be pretty much pin high right there just right of the flag. A 
We remain at two under par with the par back there on seven. We're in great shape to post a good number. Two holes remain, eight and nine. We've got a great par four here in number eight, 446 yards. Kind of bends a little to the right, but pretty straight. All righty, that bunker you see in the middle of the frame, that's gonna be our aiming point. Play a little fade, and hopefully it ends up somewhere like right in there. We created some speed right there. Right in the center of the club face, I hit that really well. Kind of looking forward to see where that ended up. I hit that one well, that was good tempo. Starting to find a little rhythm these last few holes. We are right here, right down central. 111 yards left to kind of a back pin right there. That driver's swing was good balance, good alignment, good tempo, created some speed even though I didn't feel like I was swinging out of my shoes whatsoever. So great swing right there. 111, going with sandwich. Let's knock one close. I don't know if y'all saw that pancake or not. Should be decent, it looks like it spun back a little bit, but it was just right of the pin. That was kind of a misread right there. I didn't see it breaking that much. All right, we're on to the final hole. Two under par, three birdies, one bogey, We've got a chance to shoot three under, maybe even four, with a really good tee ball, but this is a long par five, 588 yards straight away. We're heading right back at the rocks. This is a cool vantage point from the fairway coming into this green. So let's hope we hit a good tee ball. My aiming point is gonna be that very tip top of the rock right there. butter fade off of that tip top of the rock should be in great shape right there in and strong with driver that is for sure 237 yards left with that view of those rocks behind i think i'm gonna hit a stinger here i mean this really is a time that i would feasibly hit a stinger i'm not going to go all out because at 237 it will definitely go long so just a smooth little stinger All right, both stingers that I tried to hit today in this video kind of squirted out to the right. That means I'm not rotating my shoulders enough and covering the ball. Just kind of an open club face swinging way left. It's going to squirt out to the right almost every single time or every single time. However, we're in the bunker right here. Ended up roughly pin high. Not great contact. Kind of sloping away. See if we can't get this up and down to finish at three under. And with par here on the last. Well, that is it. Finished at two under par. Had so much fun. Hope you all enjoyed coming along. Drop a like down below if you did. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. That way you don't miss any future content here on the channel. I want to say thanks so much to Sand Hollow for having me out these few days. As for me, Sand Hollow, we'll see you when we see you. Peace!